Hello there, welcome everybody. This is Dr. Kush Bouchard. Welcome to another video, another live in the series of um, Seeds of Possibilities. Uh, Seeds of Possibilities is where we pick one book. Uh, we pick one book amongst many books, especially from the Access Consciousness publication, since I am an Access Consciousness facilitator, I am a Talk to the Entities facilitator. So I pick one book uh, that has really helped me, that has pragmatically helped me in different areas of my life. Um, so we've read uh, Being You, Changing the World, we've read uh, Talk to the Entities, just parts, I'm not saying read meaning the whole book, just little parts so that you get some information, could be some contribution to you and please, if any of these books actually um, call out to you, go and get those books afterwards. So we've done Talk to the Animals, Talk to the Entities, Being You, Changing the World, Infinite Possibilities, Home of Infinite Possibilities, etc. And today we're actually going to do... Um, I'm going to read from a book called Joy of Business. Um, Joy of Business is a book by uh, Simone Melissis, who has also been with Access since many years and has helped um, right from the beginning for Access Consciousness to become the um, global business that it is today. So Joy of Business is um, for everybody out there who has any form of business, um, any form of uh, project um, and just life and living in general as well but any but basically joy of business and one of the things with business is it becomes a source of stress for a lot of people very few people actually have a joy for business someone is one of them who actually has the joy of business and has always had it so this book is is um, is again very practical is very pragmatic it has um, oh, it's beautiful Okay, so and it'll give you information on how to uh, ask certain questions, tips, tools, uh, how do you go about creating your business and actually have fun and not get into stress, into the stress cycle or uh, let it like become a distraction in your life. Okay, so Joy of Business by uh, Simone Millicis. Um, I have like I have Kindle today. Uh, which is why I didn't show the cover. I wish I had um, someone's, again, somebody's borrowed my hardcover book. So I have a Kindle version on Kindle, um, but it's literally called Joy of Business by Simone Minnesis. Um I'm going to start reading and uh, hopefully this helps, this contributes to whoever's out there. Um, just know that business does not need to be stressful. It can get, especially in this reality and if you follow certain norms and rules, uh, but what is business for you? What would be fun for you? That's the basic uh, space. What would be fun for you? Um, basic space of this book where there's so much more. Okay. So about this book. This book is for you. If you would like to be in business and create and generate something entirely different for yourself and for the planet. Okay. For yourself and for the planet. Business or work, whatever you call it, is a huge force in the way we shape our life, our living and our reality. Have you gotten stuck in a conventional way of doing business that feels limited, dull and unprofitable? It doesn't have to be that way. What if doing business could be creative, generative and joyful? It truly can be. The joy of business is about the difference that business can be. It's not how to book. It doesn't set out to give you answers to your business problems or dilemmas. Instead, it opens up the space for you to do business in an entirely different way. It contains questions, exercises, tools and processes you can use that will give you another perspective on how you can create your business and your life. I'm not a business expert in the usual sense of the word. I don't have, I is Simone Millicis, yeah? Oh yeah, neither am I. So I'm not a business expert in the usual sense of the word. I don't have a long list of business degrees, credentials or letters after my name. But what I do have to offer is years of hands-on experience doing business around the world and the point of view that doing business is joyful. I would like to share the joy of business with you and invite you to follow your knowing Ask yourself questions and use some amazing tools from Access Consciousness that may change the way you do business forever. Let's go to 
how I got started in business. How I, I is basically Simone Millicis. One second, I think there's something up with my internet. Hold on. Right, so I'm gonna keep going uh, ahead with this on Instagram. Something's up with my stream yard today. So how I got started in business. I have always loved business. How I is Simone Millicis, okay? I have always loved business. When I was growing up in Sydney, Australia, my friends used to talk about going to college, getting married and having kids. Those things never interested me. I always knew I was going to own a business. I had no idea what it was going to be. I just knew I was going to have a business. That felt like the most creative thing I could possibly do. To me, running a business is like being an artist with a blank canvas. It's having the spark of an idea and asking questions like, what's it going to take for this to come to fruition? I have always seen business this way. And that's important, that question. What is it going to take for this to come into fruition? A lot of us have these ideas of what we'd like to do and etc. etc. And in our heads and in our imagination, it all sounds very possible and blah, blah. But when it actually comes to taking action steps, we then, oh, then all of this reality and all of that impossibility and all of these other things come in. right? And then a lot of times you don't end up taking the action steps required right in the beginning to start off whatever it is that you want to start off. So, in, so the way to navigate this is and you can't have all the answers. Like I remember even when I started Earthlings, you, you don't know how everything is going to show up. You can have a little bit of a plan, but you have to just keep really knowing, keep being in question, uh, learning from your mistakes, not getting stuck, being in question, changing things, asking again. And it's like this marathon, right? So one of the great questions to ask is, what's it going to take for this to come to fruition? What is it going to take? And you ask a question and you relax into the question and let the information come to you. Okay? I have always seen business this way. As soon as I graduated from high school, I got a job. This is Simone. I worked for three months and saved $3,000 and then I went overseas. I spent three years traveling and working in England, Portugal, Austria and the Greek islands. I would do any work I could get as long as it allowed me to continue to travel and see the world. On the island of Santorini in Greece, I took a job standing outside a restaurant and saying to passersby, Hey, can I interest you in eating at Captain Angelo's tonight? We have three specials and you get a free glass of wine. I did that for hours a day and made enough money to pay my living expenses. Someone else might have complained about doing the work I did, but my attitude was, yeah, I'll do it. It didn't matter what it was. I always managed to make my work joyful and fun yeah so like look at that even if you don't have a business and you're in a job it, it honestly doesn't matter what what will it take and for whatever reason you have it right now you know you, you don't have to quit you because you want to start a business be pragmatic maybe the question to ask is how do I make this more fun for me like what is your way of doing this job and what if you let it give you whatever it requires to give you right now and then still think about the project the business that you want to do and give it some space on the weekends after you come back and then gradually step by step using what you have currently actually step into what you truly desire to create yeah Someone else might have complained about doing the work I did, but my attitude was, yeah, I'll do it. It didn't matter what it was. I always managed to make my work joyful and fun. I have always been able to perceive the possibilities work and business can create in my life. And I believe that a creative and joyful approach to working and doing business enables us to live an extraordinary life or maybe even a phenomenal one. When I returned to Australia, everyone patted me on, on the back and said, well, that's done. You've got the traveling out of your system. My reaction was, why? This has just begun. I started my first business selling products at the weekend street markets in Sydney. I did everything from making my own moisturizers, spray mints, and body glitter to, retain, to retailing merchandise I bought 
from other sources. I would do the Gleb, Gleb market on Saturday and the Bondi Beach market on Sunday. I wish to create a lifestyle where I could sell products at the markets on the weekends and enjoy my life. My target was to earn enough money to go to New Delhi, India to buy merchandise I could sell at markets and festivals in Australia. After a short time, I earned the money I needed and I flew to India. I went to a place in New Delhi called Pahar, Pahar, Pahar Ganj, where they sold incense, textiles, Indian bangles, jewelry and clothing. Pahar Ganj is amazing, says in Australian. It was one of the busiest places I have ever seen. Cows, which are considered sacred, were allowed to go anywhere they wanted and they want well, this is, this is the white woman, um, but she's amazing. Cows, which are considered sacred, were allowed to go anywhere they wanted, and they wandered down the middle of the dirt roads amidst taxis, bicycles, ox carts, horse-drawn carriages, and pedestrians. Street vendors on each side of the street who were all selling pretty much the same things, haggled by shoppers and passers-by. Sometimes it got up to 55 degrees Celsius. Food was cooking everywhere, smells of Indian spices filled the streets. It was hot, smelly, and totally exciting. You could have seen it as the filthy and overwhelmingly chaotic. And it was, or as one of the most exotic, interesting places on the planet. I had just arrived and I loved it. I had no idea I was going to find suppliers. I knew I could find them. I had no idea I was going to find suppliers. This is the thing. When you start off, whatever you're starting off, you know you can do something. Okay? And normally, you don't have the answer of how you're going to get there. It's usually, I know I can do it, okay, I know I'll find something, and you kind of like, explore, okay, um, and, and for a lot of people who like business, the exploration can be fun, but for a lot of people who bought into other people's realities, may think exploration is not fun, and they need to have the right answers before, and blah, 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 and that can get you stuck. Okay? So what if it was okay to not have all of your answers, all of your ducks line, like in a row before you start your business? What if it was okay, just start, because till you start, you are never going to get any awareness of what's required. So you just have to go out there and start and never give up and never give in and keep asking questions, keep asking questions, keep asking questions and don't give up. It will show up whatever you are asking for. I had no idea how I was going to find suppliers. I knew I could find them. I just had no idea what it was going to look like. I was intrigued by the adventure of doing business there. My attitude was, let's see what shows up. I would walk around, look at what the vendors had for sale. The second I cast my eyes at a piece of merchandise, they wanted to haggle with me about how much I would pay for it. This could be quite intense. I saw that they could easily talk people into buying many products they may not be able to sell back home. So I was always aware of who had control in these situations. It was a slippery slope of business and it made me extremely joyful. It seemed, I seemed to intuitively know that I had to ask questions so I could be the one who was choosing. I seemed to intu intu intuitively know that I had to ask questions so I could be the one who was choosing what was going on. And that's another thing. Are you, uh, one of the things with businesses is, is what I've realized is the energy of you are the choosing one and not the chosen one, okay? If you're waiting to be the chosen one by anybody, by your clients, by this, you're going to get into this space of being in, in where you need and this lack and then stress. Yeah, but if you know, if you are aware of everything and if you're willing to ask questions and if you're willing to be the one who's the choosing one every time, I am going to choose who I want to do business with. I'm going to choose who my clients are because I know my value. If you change that energy from being the chosen one to being the choosing one, it can actually start creating a lot more ease with um, negotiations and uh, pricing and um, getting clients and all of that. Okay, so don't be, don't look for being the chosen one, be the choosing one. And just that one, that one information as it starts seeping in more and more as we do what we do, um, has made it easier to explore and not get into answers. Okay, so you don't have to, so, so basically to start off anything, you don't have to have all of the answers before. Okay. 
you just have to be willing to be in question what is it going to take just that vision you know you have that vision you have that energy of what you want to create be willing to be in question do not give up never give up never give in keep asking questions have the adventure be okay with the adventure of exploration and not having the answers be really know that most businesses are marathons not sprints okay so never give up never give in and keep going also the energy even if you're starting off it's very easy i have realized to slip into the energy of the chosen one you know oh shit they've chosen like the chosen one is where the client chose me and so now you are in the need of the client in not a good way okay and then you may diminish what you know you may you may not value the product that you have and a lot of different things can show up so that's another thing that has really helped which is ask am i being the chosen one or am i being the choosing one in every business whether you're a whether you're a dentist like if, well, even if you're a professional you're still running a business and it's great to have this information cool um <sighs> be in question when you are doing business you have to be willing to have everything and to lose everything wow okay i'm going to read that again so when you're doing business you have to be willing to have everything and to lose everything you can't be wasted in the outcome of what you are doing as counter intuitive as that may sound we can you cannot be wasted in the outcome i've noticed as whenever i've been wasted in the outcome of any class or anything to show up i start it creates a level of stress and a level of control and does not allow the exploration in the universe to actually gift me greater than what what i can even imagine okay so as counter intuitive as it sounds you can't be wasted in the outcome of what you are doing if i had been if simon had been wasted in the outcome of buying certain items at that stage the merchants would have had the control with the pricing and other aspects of the merchandise because if you have a wasted outcome again you go into need okay and neediness is not fun the merchants would have had the control with the pricing and other aspects of the merchandise because i was not wasted in the outcome i took my time there you go if you're not wasted in the outcome oh, it creates a level of patience or just this relaxation where you 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 give yourself time to observe to ask questions to seep in all the information and then to take action rather than going into the reaction of need i didn't push for anything to happen been there done that i've pushed so many times learning i didn't push for anything to happen i was willing to have things show up and to see what was possible which meant i had the control over the pricing quantity and other factors i was willing to have things show up okay so this is exactly what's different from most other books you will read about business it is not about getting your answers it is not about being the chosen one it is you are working with the universe you know i know business business sounds like this oh i'm doing business and so you have to lose all your magic and like but you can like you can have fun whilst receiving as as and which is the magic of the universe okay so no so this is what she says so i was willing to have things show up and to see what was possible i was willing for it to show up i didn't control the outcome i didn't control how everything has to show up okay which meant i had the control over the pricing quantity and other factors which meant that she was the choosing one never the chosen one there was a great sense of adventure and joy from making money and living life that's another thing we usually do business as a solution to some problem not because you want to explore life and have fun with money and if you think on this planet yeah so what if that energy also changes so i bought goods from pahar ganj and when i first started out i would carry things back to australia in my bags later i found two muslim sheikhs who became my exporters they were awesome i would do air shipments from india and sell the merchandise in the market in sydney and i would make 3000 dollars to 4000 a week working two days at the markets all right so 
This is literally just a tiny part of the first chapter of this brilliant book called Joy of Business. Okay? There are many more chapters, many more different in there's so much information. There's chapters about hiring people, there's chapters about, you know, <coughs> if you get stuck at any point, there's chapters about receiving from your business, there's chapters about what questions to ask generally. And it's packed with information. Okay? So I hope this helped. I was supposed to go live on Facebook, but Facebook is uh, being interesting through StreamYard today. Oh. So thank you for whoever saw this. Joy of Business by Simone Millicis. If you are someone who has a business or who would like to start a business, I highly recommend reading this book. Okay? From whatever we read today, just start. Never give up, never give in. Be in question always. You do not need to have your answers and <coughs> all your answers before you start because you can't. Because as you choose, you get more awareness. Know that it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's really hot in India right now. And the energy of being the choosing one, not the chosen one. That's very important. If this changes deeply with whatever business you're doing, then you will be the one who's in control and not everybody around you. Okay? So, how does it get better than this? Thank you so much for whoever is listening to this and whoever is going to listen to this in the future. I will see you on a Wednesday. Not the next Wednesday, the Wednesday after that with more. Bye.